It is 90.3 KEXP. We are streaming all over the world at KEXP.org. And what a wonderful day it is today because I am with future Bible heroes here in the live room. My name is Troy Nelson, and they're going to play a a couple songs, then we'll chat with them a bit, and then uh, play a couple more. So future Bible heroes, take it away. Future Bible Heroes live on 90.3 KEXP. Keep your children in a coma. Keep your children in a coma. Keep your children in a coma. Starting today. Life is hard.
It's 90.3 KEXP, Future Bible Heroes Live here, and I love that song. That very, very very live (laughs) here. So extra live here in the KEXP live live room. (laughs) And that song, Keep Your Children in a Coma, one of my favorite songs from the latest record, Party Going. And the song before that is the song Lonely Days from the 1997 album, Memories of Love. How is everybody in Future Bible Heroes doing today? Lovely. Fantastic. (laughs) Fantabulous? Weary, but well. Weary, but well. We we drove in this morning from Portland. Uh Aha. Having played a gig. Yeah, how was Portland? Great. Yes. You've been there many times, I'm assuming. I don't know. Is it politic to say we love Portland in Seattle? No, absolutely not. I love Portland. Yes. And we love Seattle, too. Yes. It's really nice to be in this part of the world. It's nice. And also, when you live in Seattle, it's great because Portland's so close. It's two and a half hours away. So it's you can just go back and forth like it's nothing. Yeah. And it's tax-free there. That's where we all go get our computers and stuff. Oh. You see? We're, we're going to go back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, can we introduce the band, if you guys don't mind, starting uh, with you, Chris? Yeah. My name is Chris Ewan. I play synths and... Uh, Co-write the songs with Stephen Merritt. Nice. I'm Anthony Kaczynski. I'm playing guitar and bass on this tour and singing. Mm-hmm. Shirley Sims, um, playing ukulele, regularly omnichord, but not today, and I'm um, singing. And I'm uh, Claudia Gonson, and I sing and play this Novation K Station. Yeah, you guys have some uh, really cool synths. I was uh, Chris- staring Chris's. at those. Those are both Chris's. <laughs> yes. And you, uh, yes, lots of fun equipment. And whatever that is, that was triggering some of the beats, Chris, that you have right in front of you, the little oh, screen. Yeah, that's Lucky. a, um, it's a little, oh, well, this thing is a space drum, which um, makes really cool spacey drummy sounds. And uh, the thing next to it is just a piece of gear that turns um, iOS devices into pro audio devices. Love it. Love it. Very, very cool. So it's kind of a big celebration because it's been, what, 11 years? Is that right? Since the last record? I think so. And yeah. all three, or I mean, there was, uh, can you explain the box set that's coming out? Because I know that there is a vinyl collection that has all your albums on one. Yeah. And Well, Future Bobble Heroes have three records. One came out, Memories of Love, in 19, 1997. And then um, in 2002, we had um, Eternal Youth. And then in this year, party going so we made those three vinyl records on one set and then um for the cd version you get four cds because you get those three records and then you also get all the collected eps and uh b-sides and compilation tracks and you basically get the definitive everything you ever wanted and on the vinyl record you get a digital download also of the all the those tracks so you get everything fabulous yeah that's pretty amazing having it having it all just in one nice tight package it was a sort of a lifelong uh well the last few years long thing that we were like, because they all had come out on different record companies in different parts of the world. And we thought, let's just get it all in one place. And Merch was so kind as to do that for us. Very, very cool. And uh, are you? do you guys have those? Are you selling those um, as your tour on this tour? Yeah, tonight we'll have, we're at the Tractor Tavern in uh, Seattle and we'll have all that stuff. And um, and then we go on, we do the East Coast four dates and we do a couple dates in the Midwest. Very you cool. You can uh, read about it on uh houseoftomorrow.com or futurebibleheroes.com. That's right. Future Bible Heroes is going to be tonight at the Tractor. I know lots of people have been looking forward to it. Highly recommend going and checking them out. These songs are completely infectious. And is it true, Chris, that uh, did Stephen Merritt uh, call you and leave a voicemail and start singing a song into your voicemail and that's what kind of triggered party going? Yeah, that is actually <laughs> what happened. It was... It, um, uh, it, it's not what ended up as the final sure, version of, of the song, <laughs> but I guess he was walking home one night and just called me up and said, Chris, I have an idea for a song, and just sang it, and it turned into living, loving, party going. Wow. That's pretty incredible. And you guys did a lot of back and forth, because you guys really, uh, it was a collaboration. This album was much more of a collaboration than the other two, where I would just make these kind of wacky synth tracks and send them to Steven, and then he would write the lyrics and come with vocal melodies that mm-hmm. were... I don't know, he had to work around what I had given him. This right. time we were able to send things back and forth and really collaborate much more on the whole songwriting process. Wow, that's that's really cool. So you will, you'll start something and be like, what do you think of this? And then he'll go, what do you think of this? And you say, what do you think of this? And you just go back and forth and ping pong until the song is finished. We do, but this time we also were able, I was able to write music to some of his lyrics that he had sent me previously. Uh-huh. So we used 
um, different methods. Interesting. It wasn't a tried and true, I'm giving you everything and then you have to work around it. Right. That's kind of nice. Yeah. I think it, it freed us up a lot. Absolutely. Uh, you guys have a couple more songs. Uh, I know that our listeners would love to hear a couple more. It sounds absolutely fabulous. Thank I know you. that I would love to hear a couple more if you guys would be so kind. Thank you very much. It's Future Bible Heroes live on KEXP. Uh-huh. Really live. <laughs> Well, I don't care what you did in the past I just don't care And I'm having a blast And I don't care what all those bastards say about us All I care about is you Love and art to see us through Just take me to the Future Bible Heroes live on 90.3 KEXP and streaming worldwide at KEXP.org. And that song is called All I Care About Is You on their latest album, Party Going. And I am hoping there is one more. Yes, Future Bible Heroes.
It is Future Bible Heroes, live on KEXP. <laughs> That's one way of dealing with it. <laughs> I saw Claudia trying to tell you, hey, turn that thing off, turn that thing off before it starts over again. It's like, oh, I got it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Love it. Uh, that song is uh, going to be stuck in my head for about 30 years. So that song is called Living, Loving, Party Going. From the new album, Party Going, Get your copy, especially the box set version. You get all things Future Bible Heroes in the box set and are playing tonight at the Tractor Tavern. And uh, I highly recommend going to this show. They are a ton of fun. And uh, what do you, uh, anything else you guys want to say to the listeners? Or is there any great tour stories or anecdotes or things you want to add? Mm. That's something. putting us on the spot. I mean, you guys are looking at each other like something, did something no. happen in the past seven days? <laughs> Just one thing. <laughs> we're having a good time. We really are. This right. is kind of like a bit of a of a new band for us because uh, we're uh, I don't know. We're, we've inducted a couple people who weren't on the album, and we all like each other, and we're having a good time. And I don't know. And we haven't played in eleven years, so it yeah. we do. It feels very young and very fresh. Yeah, and we're really excited. That is. I don't exciting. know about the young part. It feels sort of fresh. <laughs> I certainly don't feel very young. <laughs> but, uh, no, we're having we are we are having a good time. It's like actually being being older is kind of fun. It's just like I don't know. It's just we're having like bifocal jokes in the car. You know, stuff. that's what people always told me. Like, because now I'm get starting to become older-ish, and I remember. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm I'm doing it kicking and screaming. By the way, I'm not enjoying this. You know, getting oh, but but people that were older than me would always say, "Trust me, it's not as bad as you think. It, it gets better and until, better." Just until you stay immature. Is until that what you're it approaching is? fifty, and then you'll buy a red car and right. you know leave your wife and things like that. <laughs> don't, don't worry about that right now. <laughs> don't worry about that part. Yeah. Although that does sound fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, we have plenty of songs to um, instruct you Guide along you the way. The, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that actually is a interesting thing to say about the new album which is that it does Chris has been pointing out more and more that the songs are very instructional and they seem to be somewhat instructional about the latter half of life like the death part the aging part or the drinking part and the drinking part which sort of comes with the aging part right yeah and the drink and the drinking thing co- is usually something people do between the ages of 14 and dead yeah <laughs> so yeah that should always <laughs> that's always our, be there that, that's, that's always our there, demographic yeah. Yeah. right <laughs> <laughs> Only 14. Is that your target dead. audience? Well, we also have the after dead part. We have a lot of vampirism. Ooh, and, yeah, so. I like it. So. And I love that, too, because uh, the, the melodies and everything on the surface sounds very, you know, poppy and sweet. But then you dig a little deeper and there is a lot more going on. And it's at times could be even a little sinister. And Super I like Super suicidal. That. Yeah. We have, a, we have a song called Let's Go to Sleep and Never Come Back, which is a love song about killing yourself young before you get old and ugly. Beautiful. Mm. Very beautiful. It seems to be a theme we've been recording over the last decade or so. Mm-hmm. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, just kill yourself. <laughs> well, it, I'm really, really glad you guys stopped by. Thanks a lot because uh, we love it. We love the record and are big fans. Your guys' voices, you have two of my favorite voices in music. I've been listening Thank to you. your voices for a long, long time and, and I love it. And you guys harmonize very well together as well. Future Bible Heroes, see them tonight at the Tractor Tavern. And uh, thanks again, you guys, for stopping by. Thank you so and much. And pick up Party Going. You've been listening to Future Bible Heroes Live, 90.3 KEXP Seattle.